What's going on? Welcome back. You know the drill. You know how it goes. This pack is not super exciting. I'm sorry, Lieutenant Dan. She has a lot of cigarettes. Um, I do like a bloodstain wire. Keeps us nice and open. You know, if this dark ritual comes back, we can easily storm. I'm going to take bloodstain mire. Oh, cryptic command upheaval through the breach, running it back. We got a recurring nightmare. <sighs> cryptic command is actually quite hard to cast in in cube as I've as I've demonstrated multiple times. <sighs> I like upheaval. Uh, so my problem with nightmare is it's actually significantly harder to build around than people think. Like, not only do you need to discard, it's like a reanimate card, but the, the creature that you're, like, you also need a creature on board. Like, if this is an animate dead, cool, I'm getting a creature out of the graveyard for one cre one card in my hand. But, like, you also need a steady stream of creatures on the board. And that's my biggest problem with, with Recurring Nightmare. 20 bucks to run it back. But if you want to support in any way you can, I'm more than appreciative of it. I'll take this just for you. Um, God, please, please let us get big Eldrazi's. I like Chandra here a lot, especially after taking through the breach. Let's do that. Oh, man. Karn and an Is it Signet. Is it Signet's nice? I think we're just taking the Karn. Like, Karn just gives us some good late game stuff that we can do. And it doesn't commit us to blue, which I don't necessarily think we need to be if we're through the breaching and sneak attacking. Upheaval broken. Upheaval broken. Should have taken that Eureka. Man, I need creatures. Shut up and take my money. Unforgiven. We're running it back. I appreciate you, buddy. Uh, I, I don't think Eureka is a trap nearly as much as people make it out to be. I think show and tell is definitely a trap. I don't think Eureka. I think I've had numerous Eureka decks that are just completely fine. Um, also, what up, Crutch Jr.? Um, I'm going to take, I think it's just Metamorphose here. Actually, We can take Null Priest and kind of lean towards creatures that do go to the graveyard after you hit with them. Like like the 10 mana Ulamog. All right, we're just going to, we're going to black red at this time. <laughs> oh, good times. It's your boy. I mean, I like I like Annihilator better than Sundering Titan, so we're gonna take Ulamog here. I'm probably not taking the Eureka when it wheels. What if we take Crucible and try to wheel the Wasteland? Does that do anything? Sling Gang Lieutenant's not bad if the Nightmare comes back. Could Sylvan Library. Library is so strong, I think you're right. Hmm. I'll take Library here. 
I agree with the strength of library. I don't hate Scrubland. We can get it with Bloodstained Mire. It's an easy way to splash white. Sarolf is interesting. I think we're just going to take the Scrubland. I think it leaves us the most open. Boros Signet's interesting because now we're kind of M Mardu potentially. Also could take a Maelstrom Pulse. I do like Bor. I think Boros Signet being an on-color red Signet is, is pretty valuable here. Ashen Rider is also... Wow, that's actually great because now Ashen Rider is a castable creature for us. And a Godless Shrine. Okay, we're doing it. Oh, the magic is happening. Disenchant? I'll main deck a disenchant. Okay, this is beautiful. Um, I actually don't hate Metamorphose here. We're not going to be able to activate Tassiger, so I'm not super interested in Tassiger. Eureka Wield, though, that's true. To the surprise of no one. Oh, I like Akaya, actually. Okay. Oh, the Sling Gang Lieutenant came back. I mean, it's not great, but... Demo. Uh, I'm pretty sure Demonic Tutor is the, the straight-up pick. I mean, if Sacred Foundry or Council's Judgment comes back, I will be grateful for that. But, I mean, like, if we have Through the Breach, we can Demonic Tutor for an Ulamog. If we have Ulamog, we can, through the, we can Demonic Tutor for this channel boy that sure is a card isn't it also gristlebrand hmm. I think we just take gristlebrand and stay the course like we also have null priest which means we can reanimate gristlebrand yeah I think we're just going to stay the course Liliana is pretty dece. It's also Primeval Titan. Man. This is wild. Vindicate also good. Verdant Catacomb also good. This is actually a very good pack. I like Liliana here a lot because it does let us discard like cards like this and get them back with Null Priest. And we can also reanimate them later. I think if Verdant Catacomb, Vindicate, uh, I guess those are the only two we want, but we're just going to take Liliana here. Oh, Orzhov Signet. I do like an Orzhov Signet here. It's Yeah, we're just taking the Orzhov Signet. If Inferno Titan or Balance comes back, that'd be cool. Yeah, I'm actually a big fan of what we have so far. All we need is Mama Emrakul and a sneak attack. But I mean, I'm, I'm totally fine through the breaching any of these three, which is significantly better than our previous... Uh, attempt. Also, yeah, I mean, like, I definitely want some reanimate, but, like, Null Priest as a six-drop reanimate spell is also totally fine. I mean, I will get either of these guys back with a Null Priest. And I get the Null Priest out of it. So then they can't go Liliana and make a sacrifice our Gristlebrand, because we still got a 2-1 little dirtle. Bayou, Splinter Twin, Metamorph. Um, I think it's Metamorph here. No, a courtyard's fine. I can see a courtyard. Um, 
Yeah, let's take Liliana here. Liliana's pretty much a slam dunk. I can also see Courtyard coming back as well. I like a Gonti here. With no lands that are helping us out, I think we're just taking a Gonti. This deck's looking pretty sweet. I would love some black red, like a Badlands, or like the, the the Sacred Foundry to come back. Having two Signets is pretty nice, though. Him to Torok? All right, we're definitely taking him to Torok. We can even him ourselves to hit the spells. Him ourselves to hit the spells. This is a different direction we haven't ventured before. It's true. Usually you pair it with blue, you know? Okay, well, two lands we don't necessarily care about. Although, you know, I'll take Stomping Ground. Because we can, I mean, we can get both, but... Mm, actually, let's go with the black. I like having a black land a little better. Needle Spires is a gift. Vindicate came back. Oh, yeah, we're Vindicating for sure. Uh, I'll take a Languish. Concealed Courtyard came back. Lightning Helix is playable for us. Wow, this is this is quite well. Okay, we'll take this guy. I'm also trying to sell a sound bar, and the person who wants to buy it is like here now. And they were like, okay, cool, I'll come right over and get it. And I'm like, oh, all right. I didn't even confirm that I would be home. So that's weird, but apparently they're here now. And I don't really want to uh, leave in the middle of a draft. Because that seems like, you know, bad value and uh, bad content and uh, not good. And this draft is also sweet. And we hit a mox that is off color, but still a mox. And this pack's not super great. So we're going to take the mox. And we can also play Phyrexian Metamorph. Well, I said, I said, you'll have to give me a minute. I'm finishing up some work. So, I mean, like. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. All right. We'll put this other mox right over here as well. Just get the two moxes. Sounds good. Nothing in this pack. Again, nothing I really care about passing. So that's nice. All right. No mocks here, though, unfortunately. Showdown of the Scalds is interesting. It's kind of like draw four, right? Don't care about Gideon or Duretti. We don't have any artifacts. I think it's just Showdown. I don't think we're a living death deck. Maybe we are, though. I bet living death comes back, though. I'm going to take the draw four. That could be good. Oh, I also like Coalition Relic here. Yeah, that seems good. This is, this is looking pretty good, I'm going to be honest.
Shut up and take my money. Uh, I think we're just taking a Lesh Norn here. That seems good. Hold on one second. Okay. Does not tomb do anything we want to do? And tomb just doesn't seem great because we don't have a ton of reanimation cards yet, but it could be fine. Oh, I kind of like Valky a lot here. <laughs> we have enough mana to ramp into it. And it's also just a solid creature. No. Yeah. Um, Thran Dynamo was interesting. I think we just want like a Banishing Light effect here. Although Thran could be good. Turn two, this into Thran. Hmm. I don't think we need Banishing Light. I think I'd rather have Thran Dynamo here. Oh, man. Shambling at Shieldred comes back. But I think we're good on seven drops, especially since we picked up a Leshnorn as well. Um, I think we're just taking the Shambling Vent to make our mana more consistent. I don't hate Rakdos's return here just because we have... Um, a lot of mana. <laughs> I'll just take Opposition Agent. That's fine. Resto could be good. Blinking Ashen Rider. Makeshift Mannequin? Oh yeah, we're taking Makeshift Mannequin for sure. Uh, Fatal Push is good. Wildfire is good. Hydra is mediocre. Okay, cool. Sacred Foundry did not come back. That is unfortunate. We don't have a red to search for this other than a, a mountain. But I guess it's hard to complain when you get two moxes. And our deck actually seems pretty decent. Living Death did not come back. You're right. <laughs> the funny the funny upside is that we can actually cast Phyrexia Metamorph off of Mox Sapphire. I think we just take out Sling Gang, Lieutenant. Like, now we have Liliana, Makeshift, other Liliana. I mean, this deck seems pretty sweet. Okay, welcome. I want to say welcome back, but you guys didn't go anywhere on YouTube, so. Oh, we also have Showdown of the Scalds in the sideboard. I totally forgot about that. Our sideboard's actually really sweet. Rakdos' Return, Showdown, Languish, Opposition Agent are all good options. We need one cut here. I think, I feel like it's Sling Gang. We don't have any benefit to having this. Oh, Monsonster, you did have a stip. And it showed up like right when I was leaving. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I feel like Unforgiven always gets me to do this stip multiple times. <laughs> He's always like, do it again. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Uh, donation history. It's a Timmy draft. You're looking to do big things and get there. That means if you have a chance to get Gristle Brown on the board, draw 14, then Eureka, you do it, or whatever other cool thing comes along. Okay, I like big things. 
I like big things and I cannot lie. I don't know if I can deny. All right, it's on the list. We got it. Okay, we need one more cut. No, we don't. We did good. Bloodstain, we're playing all of these. Actually, this is kind of interesting because this is just a black-white deck with Chandra and Through the Breach. I actually wonder if we cut Chandra for something because this is, like, Through the Breach is, and Valky are our only red sources right now. Huh. I think we do cut Chandra, actually. Uh, I, so my, my issue with Showdown is that our cards are so expensive, I don't think we're going to be able to benefit from this a lot. Because you only get one turn to play them after you cast this. And like we have 7 drop, 7 drop, 7 drop, 8 drop, 8 drop, 11 drop, a card we want to spend 6 on. So it's it, like we have to draw a good amount of these and like I don't foresee it being... I, I kind of like I kind of like Wall of Owens and Opposition Agent. Rakdos' Return actually could be good with Dynamo. And Coalition Relic and two Signets. I actually do kind of like that. Yeah, all right, let's do that then. Add basics. It is another red card. We're definitely adding one of these. One, two, three. It's four red sources for like three-ish red cards. And black, we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. White, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine eleven. <laughs> nine eleven confirmed inside job. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, plus we have Boros Signet, Orzov Signet. Yeah, this seems good. Man, we have Fatal Push, Lightning Helix, Wall of Omens, Opposition Agent, Languish for Sideboard against like aggressive decks. All right, let's get her done. Classic. Classic 9-11 draft. How long until COVID jokes are good to go? I mean, like, for 9-11, about 3,000 people died, if I'm not mistaken, and it took, like, 15 years. I mean, COVID, 500,000 people have died in the U.S. alone, so... not really glossing over it. I mean, how am I glossing over that? I'm referring specifically to 9-11 exactly. Like, it's always so funny because like as soon as you said, oh, uh, I was like, oh, the person asking how long till COVID jokes is definitely going to be the edgelord that like tells me I'm not considering something or like. I was like, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Um, double white, huh? With a Trust me when I say I'm unoffended. <laughs> I trust you. I I believe in you. I'm going to mulligan this hand. Like the land just doesn't this is not great either. All right, well.
This doesn't seem much better. You think our mana base feels not great, really, with 11 black sources and 9 white sources? Interesting. I mean, I think our, our draws have been not great. But, I mean, if you look at it, I mean, like, there's statistically on paper, like, there's nothing wrong with our mana base that isn't worse. Like, there's nothing worse with our mana base that compared to other decks of, of 2.5 colors. Can you go back to ignoring me? Easy. Okay. Easy. Done. Uh, I don't really want to go to five. I'll keep it and I will put Eleshnorn back. I mean, if we could draw black, black. The only problem is it's Frank, so he won't draw what he needs. Yeah, I mean, it's not the mana base. It's me. It's me. Look, now our mana base is great. Rewarded. Mm. I'm not above uh, vindicating your your land there, buddy. Hmm. Dang it. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Well, <laughs> we're back to where we started. Yep, all right, cool. <sighs> Good times. Okay, Black Source. Oh boy. It's worth noting we've drawn more cards that cost five or more than we have lands. So that's that's a thing. Okie dokie. Yeah. Well, wow, their Teferi's at eight. They're gonna ultimate that guy soon, I guess. I mean, we have more, we have significantly more black sources. By significant, I mean two more black sources than white sources. I mean, they 100% bounce this with Teferi because it's our first permanent ever. Wow. Oh, look, they did it. This is just how my drafts go, though. Like, the first game is always a throwaway match because we never get to draw anything that's relevant or, or helpful to our game plan. And the... Um, how do they still not have a third land here? Wrath of God. How do we still not have anything? All right. Well, let's just go to the next game. Like, we play Valky, they just bounce it. So we have no actual... Oh, that would have been good. We could have played that and then played Liliana. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, our deck seems actually pretty good against them, but I, you know, we have to draw lands. And we have 15 lands and two moxes. I mean, like, which is, they're basically lands. Keep in mind, we have one, one mountain in the deck, and I think we've drawn it. We drew that, and then our first hand literally had no black sources, even though we have 11 black sources in the deck. Double black, double black. I mean, we're getting Godless Shrine here or Scrubland, I guess. We only need one black here. This is an easy discard.
gotta be kidding. This is hilarious. I mean, I guess we can vindicate. That's a minor. Oh my God, dude, is this for real? Wild, just wild. And we're just doing this because like, sure, you got it. <laughs> we have nothing else to do. And we don't have anything to do for the foreseeable future. If we hit a black source, we can Liliana and kill their Geist. So that's cool. <laughs> All right, now the dream has been been realized. Can we just draw it next turn through the breach? That'd be cool. No, oh, it didn't have anything. Okay. Okay, we have one card in hand. So I assume that we're gonna play Jace the Mind Sculptor here, because that would be one of the best things you could cast. Or Council's Judgment on Liliana, actually. Yep, okay. I guess we'll vote for Liliana. Mm -hmm. See, now we're living the dream. I don't think they have another spell pierce here. No, 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 nailed it. Sure. We got that counter spell, huh? Oh, we hit two lands that we actually didn't want to draw anyway, so that's pretty good. Oh, we have lethal on board. Get back a sorcery. Get back your council's judgment without a second planes. It seems okay. So they have counterspell. They're dead. Okay. Well, that went better. They also have Armageddon, as we've seen, so that's interesting. I do like our Signet, Signet, Coalition, Relic, Mox, Mox, Thran, Dynamo. Yeah, like, I mean, again, going, going back to our mana base, like, we also have two on-color Signets and a Coalition Relic. So, like, I don't know. I feel like our mana base is actually pretty banging. Let's bring Opposition Agent in because we did see at least one fetch land. Take a Lesh Norn out. Doesn't seem great against them. I kind of like Chandra, to be honest. I think it's just a good threat. But it's too late. Uh, Turn one Boros Signet? Seems good. We do only have single black yet again. Swamp? Was not a, Twas not a Swamp. You can spell pierce this instead of the mocks? No? Okay. They're like, I'll just counter what you what you play with these with all this mana. Hmm. I mean we have no incentive to play this to to copy one of these because you know, then we just have six mana next turn and right now we just get to Liliana if we want to. 
So that's good. I mean, I'm almost positive they have some some counter spell or a Teferi, and they're gonna bounce our signet. Mm-hmm. Sure, you got it, Tarifi. Let us get a Godless Shrine. Hmm. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Unfortunate. So next, if we did copy the Boros Signet, we could actually play Karn next turn, but... I still think it's just better to hold. I'm not really super convinced that the best option is to just copy a Boros Signet. I mean, I'm sure they're countering this. Like... <laughs> cool. So they still have OG counterspell mana up, huh? Uh, one, two. Oh, interesting. I did not expect that. How did they get rid of this last time? Oh, Council's Judgment, right. So I assume they have that and they just didn't care about our... Or Geist. I'm just going to take it here because then we can attack Tefri. Oh, they, they're like, oh, he's going to kill my Teferi. That's fine. That is more than fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do we think they have another counter spell? Maybe. Well, they didn't counter our Geist, so. Are they, they're deciding which counter spell to use. Oh, it resolved. Huh. Got an island out of them. Okie dokie. Well, oh God, don't joke about fractured identity. Going face. I mean, I can't just keep letting Geist go. I mean, if they have fractured identity, it sucks, but. I can't like play around it by taking six again and going to seven and then of course they fucking have it. <laughs> oh, cool. Super cool. 
must be nice. I mean, it's. It, I think it's the most frustrating that it takes you fucking 15 minutes to decide to let this resolve when you have a fractured identity in hand. Like, okay. Yep. And we're not going to play this, but I guess if we get... I mean, through the breach is still alive for us. I mean, they have six cards in hand, so I, I guess live is uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, This is where they spell pierce this, and I feel real dumb for attacking first. Oh. Sure. I'll discard Ulamog. <laughs> we can shuffle our graveyard back. Wait, what just happened? Oh, they just carned Liliana. Okay. Sure. Oh, God. Please don't have a counterspell. Oh, it's an artifact or a creature. Well, that's worse. I mean, if we attack with this, Karn goes to three. They exile a card from our hand. Karn goes back up to seven. We don't get to cast Tybalt. Karn's at seven. If we cast Tybalt and it resolves, we get to plus two and essentially draw two cards. Karn has to go down to three to deal with it. And we still get to keep those cards. Cool. Cryptic Command. Yep. I'm about done. I've had about enough of this. Uh, let's, let's call it fun. With your bullshit counterspell deck that... You're not sure whether to <laughs> counter a Karn with a fracture at any hand. So, I, I don't know. I guess that's just a little frustrating for me, but... You know what? Sure. Oh, I completely agree that the deck deserves more. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's, that's one of my most frustrating takeaways from Magic the Magic the Gathering is that like, like nine times out of ten, <laughs> you know, uh, my matches result in me getting mana screwed and mulling to five, and that's. That's just that's just the cost I have to pay in order to play Magic the Gathering. I guess. So you know, the, the game is so good that I have to actually deal with regularly getting mana screwed either by drawing 14 lands out of 17 or drawing 3 lands on turn 7. And uh that's just the the price I have to pay in order to to play the game I love. So what can you do?
It's a lot of signets here. It's a lot of a lot of a lot of signets you're you're playing with here. Do I want to copy any of them? No, probably not. Am I going to get blown out like next turn? Yeah, probably. Uh, I have not dabbled in Flesh and Blood, the card game, because it's COVID and there's no real way to play a card game with other people. <laughs> so it's it's kind of tricky. And like, also, if it had, a, do they have a digital component? I didn't I didn't think they did. Right, it's like super awkward, but like I see videos for it and everyone's talking about it, but <laughs> Oh god. Yep, don't care. Don't care enough to play this out. I'm going to be honest with you. Don't don't actually care enough. Just actual done. It's cool. Okay. Let's get Rakdos's return out. For a deck with two signets, two moxes, and oh good. This is a this is a winner. Yep. A deck with two moxes, two signets, a coalition relic, and a Thran Dynamo. You'd think you'd have some decent protection against burning of Zinyi, but I, I guess I guess I'm just I guess I'm just crazy. I'm gonna keep this hand and we'll uh no, we'll pitch a makeshift mannequin. That seems much better. I mean, we can Kaya their Mox next turn, which is actually a pretty solid play considering what their goal is. Sure. Now Kaya dies. Fantastic. Uh, I'm probably just playing that now. Yeah, that seems better. If they want to, like, wildfire or some nonsense, like, sure. I'll just keep Thran Dynamo or Zov Signet. And we get to Karn next turn, which is... I hear it's pretty decent. Uh, that's actually pretty good because now we can get rid of Batter Skull with Karn and still survives the Pyromancer hit. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. We're not doing that. One, two, three. So now I feel like we're doing okay. Next time we can Relic and Kaya. Hmm. Unless we draw Ulamog, in which case we'll just do Ulamog. We'll just do, we'll just Mog him. Also, they have two cards in hand, so... Oh, dear. I guess we're Leshen. Boo do 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 casting that election on. Bless you.
Okay. Three, four. I mean, I'm sure we're dead here. That's less than ideal for your opponent. There it is. Oh, there it is. Yep. Fucking America. Hmm. One, two. One, two, three. I feel like you need Morgan Freeman and everything we made about your bad luck. I agree. I think that would be a great choice. I don't think we need Dynamo here. I think Coalition Relic's going to do a good job. Didn't even notice. Sorry if I'm slow, Brandon MTGO. That happens. That happens. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to play a Signet here. What are you doing? Come on, stop. Are we burning of Zinni right now? That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Da -da 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 That's what we were kind of hoping they would do, actually. So now we can just hit him in the face. Yeah, that's fine. We'll take four here, but I mean, that's their turn. We don't take another four from the attack, so. Actually, kind of like Metamorph here a lot. Yeah. 
let's get us a red mana. So this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we draw a land, we can Ashen Rider next turn. And we're 100% blocking because we're at eight, so. If we don't draw land, we can Karn. Uh, white, white, black, let's go white. Doesn't really matter, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we just Ashen Rider here. I mean, the reason being, if they counter or kill it, we can Null Priest next turn. I had to explain it. Wouldn't know where to start. Mana Crypt. Boy, this is Mizium Mortars. All right, all right. And then Wildfire. Mind's Desire. I don't even know what's going on here. This is extremely fascinating. That's a good hit. E that doesn't do much. <laughs> Absolutely fucking incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yep, we're just conceding here. Because, I, I mean, look at what, they're going to play my Karn, and then they're going to exile my own Ashen Rider. Cool. Yep, that was fun. This has been a this has been a sweet this has been a sweet draft so far. Mines is iron to Chandra, Emrakul. Good, good, good stuff. Good stuff. It's like impossible for me to go better than fucking one two with decks that seem actual incredible on paper. Yep, you no know, second land though. That's a lot to ask for. Yep, yep. There it is. Cool. Yep. There we go. Let's keep going. Oh, we did it. Mulligan to four. We got one. Keep this. Probably get rid of... Yep, there we go. All right. Good stuff. Definitely, Foxy. I knew I knew you were. Like, I recognized your name from the, from chat, so, like, it wasn't a, a, a total surprise. But, like, I I mean, like, it's, it's, it's pretty uncanny, the luck I fucking have with these decks that actually look great. And then, like, hitting Chandra, Emrakul, repeal off of Mind's Desire for three is just very strange. And kind of amazing. So, what are you going to do? Yep. And then we just mulled to four. You know, round one, we draw, we are opening hand as two white sources when we have 11 black sources in the deck. I don't know, two signets, two moxes, a coalition relic. Yep. Okay. 11 drop. Sounds good. Okay. Well, the languish is definitely coming in, so it was like lightning strike. I was like, are you going to daze me? 
I mean, that would have been excellent because then they just get to make a guy with this. I don't get the coalition relic. Honor of the pure. <sighs> you have above average bad luck in queue from the infinite YouTube videos I watch. It's incredibly true. I, I, I there's a part of me that's like, no, I don't want to say that. I don't want to be results oriented. I don't want to like think woe is me, you know, but like, it's, I think it's extremely true. I think my opponents have it consistently more often than not. Okay, so we're just dead on board. Got it. Got it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can play Valky. What does that do? Gets rid of Mentor. We take four, eight, nine, ten. Still dead. Get rid of this. We take uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still dead. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Okie dokie, we're having a good time, can't win a game, that's okay. Sometimes you're just not meant to win games. What a frustrating draft is, right? Like, you guys are watching it happen. Like, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know. If, if I was by myself, I think I was actually going fucking crazy, but... Take out this. Take out Makeshift Mannequin, bring in Fatal Push. Bring in Languish for sure. Take out Thran Dynamo, because really, how much mana do we need? <laughs> I mean, we're only looking for a 1-2 here, guys. We're only looking for 1-2. Uh, uh, Unforgiven, I really apologize that all of these Through the Breach sneak attack decks end up this way. I don't... I think it's too hard to force this archetype, but... I mean, turn 1 Wall of Omens into turn 2 Liliana seems good, at least. So let's do that. This might be the best opening we've had so far. Oh, Kaya? Sure. Um, Okay. Sure. Well, I mean, if you're using your mana drain on that, I guess it's not the worst, but I still have no action here, which is kind of frustrating. four cards. So just metamorph a wall of omens. I can metamorph mana vault, but like we're one away from casting this naturally anyway.
Okay. I love that game two, we see a completely different deck than we saw game one. We brought in a bunch of creature removal and things, and they just have, like, nothing that that's relevant to that. Oh, boy. Hmm. Well... I also kind of like vindicating the Oblivion Ring to get rid of something. Perhaps the Mana Vault. They have five cards. They have four cards. We have three cards. We have one extra mana. No, we don't. Yeah, that's fine. And we're just going to vindicate that thing now. Oh, it's mom. Hey, mom. Um, huh. I think we're just playing Leshnor. If we draw another land, we can actually play Liliana and Vindicate in the same turn. And I'd really just kind of like to get Mother of Runes off the board here, so... Plus Elspeth making making tokens here doesn't do much. <laughs> Are you the YouTube person? <laughs> I'm like, oh good. Wonderful. <sighs> Mono fractured identities dot draft. Sounds good. Cool. This is this has been rough. <laughs> Unforgiven, please don't make me do a sneak attack through the breach specific. I so my biggest problem. Let me. I, I want to mention it right now. I, I th I've said it a bunch of times, but doing doing stipulations that surround a single card are always very very hard, because you could always get that card, but then you also have to get the components. Like if it was like if you see Splinter Twin take it, you could take it, but then like you may not get anything else. You know, in that vein. So it's like. Yep, one, two, three. So it's just like, it's really, it's really hit or miss. And I think like, I think it's tough to focus on that. Like, I don't know, for some reason, sneak attack and, and show and, and through the breach just, they never end up working for me. And I don't know why. Okay, well, oh boy. So we can go one, two, three, activate, no. <laughs> oh god excuse me are they cryptic commanding and choosing their modes
I mean, all that being said, Unforgiven, I super appreciate your support, and I am grateful for uh, for the opportunity, nonetheless. Oh, Gristlebrand came back. Well, we have no cards in hand. Now they're easily going to kill this Liliana to make sure we don't get Gristlebrand back. So that is unfortunate. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, fucking Lord. Jesus. Sometimes you're just like, man, I wonder if they can ever not have it. And then the answer is always, oh, absolutely fucking not. Absolutely not. That would be, that would be insane. Oh, yeah. Get it. Declare blockers. Um, Hold on, let me see if I want to block. No, I can't. So thank you. I really appreciate you asking if I wanted to block. That's... I think we took out makeshift mannequin, too, which is pretty comical. Yeah, there it is. Okie dokie. Not actually sure what we even have to get back anymore. Well. I mean, it's got to be just Monastery Mentor, right? Skyclave Apparition. Something good. Cool. I'm going to just scoop here. Like, I don't feel like we're going to win this game in any way, shape, or form. So, next turn we draw Ulmog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We would have actually had Ulmog mana. I don't think it would have done anything. I mean, next turn alone, they're attacking for 12. So they attack for 12. We Ulamog kill something. We're at 8. Or 10, rather. They attack for, for 8. <laughs> and then, like... Oh, they can also, like, ultimate this. So, yeah, like, we're just, like... 0-3. Uh, a classic 0-3. With a deck that did not seem... Did not seem like an 0-3. Can I, how do I view my deck? I really want to just go back to the deck. Nope, that's going to open a website. Okay, it's, I guess it's too hard to go back to the deck in Magic Online. It's really... Previous decks? Nope, don't want to see that. Primary deck? Really just want to open the, the deck screen. Cause, is it here? Nope, that's not going to do it. Anyway, it doesn't exist. Thanks for watching. Unforgiven, really appreciate the support. I, uh, what are you going to do? It's frustrating. I apologize. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.